Hello book friends, welcome back to my channel The Book Judge. It has been a while since I have made some recordings for you. I've had several spinal procedures and we're painting some rooms and my equipment broke down. So I'm just now recording. I have not forgot about those of you who are watching. Summer break is probably here for almost everyone except the upper northeast coast. You probably still have school. For those of you who are finished with school, whether it's homeschooling, private school, public school, or a combination thereof, I wanted to recommend some great books. Parents, these are great books for middle schoolers, high schoolers, and even a college student who just wants to read for fun. If you like Chronicles of Narnia or Lord of the Rings, I have a little known series of books that I would like to present to you today. I loved C.S. Lewis. I loved his books as a kid. I understand that Netflix has been given the contract to continue the movie, so that concerns me just a little bit. They have a tendency to make things dark and they gave it to Greta Gerwig, the same lady who made Barbie. Never saw it, never going to. Anyway, enough about that. Let me introduce you to these books so you can have your kids reading great material this summer. King of the Trees. I feel like this man is my friend, William D. Burt. He will sign and autograph all the copies of his seven series books for you and your children. You can reach out to him through Amazon. You can reach out to him through the King of the Trees books. I believe my friend William Burt is even clothed in a Lord of the Rings green cloak with a proper clasp holding it together, reading chapters from his books for you on YouTube. So I would highly recommend these series. I found it about a decade ago, maybe even a little longer now, when my son was just really wanting to be on electronics, which was never okay with us. You want your kids to be thinking and imagining, not doing mind numbing things on their phone or on their computers or whatever they have, whatever device they have. We lived in Texas 10, 15 years ago, and we either needed to be in the pool swimming or reading things over the summer. So this was a book series I found in World Magazine where it was first advertised. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna buy the whole set. And then the author reached out to me. He wanted to know if I wanted these books signed. And some of them are. And I've gone on to order them as gifts for other homeschoolers, other people that are doing things like Veritas or Beautiful Feet books, um, Sunlighters. I've recommended it to them. There's all kinds of co-ops that read these books and you can meet the author and probably have him come to visit. So I highly recommend King in the Trees. This is the first book, book number two, Torsals in Time. This is the second book of the series, again, by my friend William Burt. He is a great author, and I'm thinking about having him come on my YouTube channel. We'll just do a little interview about what inspired him for these books. Like me, he's a Lord of the Rings fan and a C.S. Lewis Chronicles of Narnia fan. He's also written other books outside of this series that my kids absolutely loved, and I might interview them soon to tell you which one they enjoy the most. Book number three, The Golden Wood. Now, if I remember right, Mr. Burt told me that his family members designed the art cover and perhaps some of the drawings on the inside. You can usually go to KOT, King of the Trees Books, and find something. Google William Burt in the King of the Trees series online, and you can see him reading and talking about these books. And if you'd like to have him on the channel, let me know in the comments. Next book, The Greenstones. So the cover work and the artwork has been changed a little bit. I believe he had to switch publishers. I don't remember if the company just didn't pull through, but I think he has found a new publisher and these books are fantastic. My son and I read them cover to cover and we couldn't quit talking about them all summer. So these are absolutely family books. Read them to your little ones. Let your middle schoolers take a turn reading. Let your high schoolers have some quiet time during the day. Not every moment of summer needs to be planned. If I would have told my family, my parents that I was born during the summer they would have found plenty of work for me to do so you knew either to stay busy go swim in the pool which was a horse tank for us and um, or you'd be out in the garden picking more beans or planting more food um, or taking care of horses and farm animals so I learned to stay busy by reading and as long as my parents saw that I wasn't on TV which was pretty much not allowed and I was um, doing something for my mind my brain my imagination they okayed it and um, all my books had to be mom approved at my house and this one is mom approved at this house. Next book, The Downs by William Burt. So these keep growing and the pictures kind of give away a little bit what the story is about. 
Again, you can find these on Amazon.com. Let me tell you, a friend of mine that I work with before I went on vacation and had some surgeries told me about BigWords.com. It shows you where you can get books the cheapest and it shows you shipping and everything. So um, try BigWords.com and see if you can find the best deal. If you like your books new and crisp, you can get these from William Burt himself, I'm sure, from his website, or you can get them on Amazon. You can reach out to him through Amazon. You can reach out to him through King of the Trees Books, and you can have these signed. Next book, Kylia's Mirrors. This lets you know what this book is going to be about. So if you start to feel like you have Chronicles of Narnia vibes, there's a reason for that. William Burt is a fan of C.S. Lewis. He's a friend of Lord of the Rings. So of course his books are gonna have some of that imagery in them and I'm okay with that. And then the final book in the series, The Birthing Tree. What an interesting way to end a series of books. The Birthing Tree. Who would have guessed? Again, I do believe these are being published under a new publisher at this time from when I bought them. However, the books are no less fascinating, no less fun. They will point your children and your family towards some great discussions. Sometimes you can read to your kids and have them draw pictures of what they're learning about or have them explain a chapter after you've read it or what stood out to them. So keep their minds busy this summer. They don't need to watch TV. You don't need to put them in camp every week of the summer. Spend time with them and let them have some alone time and some quiet time. That's when our brains rest and go to work categorizing everything that we're learning. I'm a huge fan and a friend of William Burt and I would like to have him on my channel. If you would like to speak to him, if you have questions and you've read these books, put them in the comments below. If you would like for him to be on my channel and we can do a little YouTube or Zoom event, that would be great too. I'm sure William Burt would um, agree to that. He has not seen my kids since they've all grown up. So we would like to maybe do a collaboration with him as a writer and his family members as illustrators and my family who picked up on these books when they first came out. They're excellent. I can't tell you enough to go get them for people that you love. And I love them as an adult. My middle schoolers love them and my high schoolers love them in homeschool co-ops and wherever I taught. So go get these books today and make William Burt happy that you read his books. Thank you and stay tuned. I have part two for the littles and then I have part three for the gardeners and the beekeepers and the foragers in your life. Thank you for watching today. This was part one of Great Summer Reads for 2024 and next episode will be for the littles in your life. But when I say littles, I mean everybody can read these books and everybody can learn from them. They do come with pictures, so they are geared and targeted toward a younger audience. However, it doesn't mean you can't learn from them. If you learn something new and bright and good from a book every day or a cautionary tale, you are feeding your brain good food. So let's continue to do that this summer and I will be back with part two of Wonderful Summer Reads. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time on my channel, The Book Judge. Bye-bye.